Have you ever wondered if you're doing your discovery call right or your enrollment call right? If you're a coach, it's probably the most important part of your business because that's how you create clients. Well, hey, you're in luck today because I'm going to share with you five tips on how you should be doing your discovery call. Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. I'm a former public school teacher, high school teacher, turned into a business coach, a life coach. I'm a coach. One of the most exciting things I've ever done in my life and one of the most exciting things you sh are going to be doing in your life. So let's get into the discovery call. Uh, before we get started in the tips, what I want to do is you have to get the right mindset about selling because that's what this is about is you're going to sell but it's not really selling I want you to think about this is you are going to engage a person into a coaching calls to help them in their business in their life this is a service that you're going to change somebody's life so that's the mindset you have to get around you're not selling a used car. You are changing lives. So here are the five tips. The first one is what I call a pre-ritual ceremony. What I mean is you have to get yourself in the right mindset. And I don't know what it is for people. I make sure I'm enthusiastic. I'd stretch a little bit. I get my mind in the right mindset. I excited about meeting this person i'm excited about helping this person but you have to find a little ritual that gets you up right it's almost like you're going into a if you're a sports person you're going into a big game this is what it is it's a, a ritual that will get you in the right mindset to help your client and to help your business the second tip when you start you have to open up as a leader, right? Remember, you're the expert. Your whole goal is to come across as a leader and start to create trust with this person. And I don't know how you do that personally. One is through a smile, do great eye contact. I do most of my discovery calls as, as a Zoom call, so we're looking face to face. So give them great eye contact repeat things that they're saying so they know that you are listening to them be present don't let your mind go all over the place the third tip is you need to interview this potential client and i know when you're first starting i just wanted the client well now it's a little different because i have clients so i'm interviewing to see if they're the right fit for me or if I'm the right fit for them. And if I'm not the right fit, I will suggest some other people. But you want to ask them questions. You know, ask them what they're trying to achieve. Get to know them a little bit, but build a trust and get to understand who they are. So during this thing, as you're working with these people, again, ask them what their goals are. What do they want to achieve? I have a great set of questions that you can ask any potential client and really a framework that you can do in any coaching session. And you need to develop one too. And if you need help with that, reach out and I can help you with that. The fourth one, and this is where it gets to be a challenge for some people. Invite them to work with you. That's all it is. I mean, I actually went on one of my coaches. It was actually funny. I had no intention of working with this gentleman, but I wanted to see how he did it. And we were talking, and he was a great guy. Friendly. We were laughing. He said, well, hey, do you want to work together? And I said, yeah. That's all it was. Hey. Do you want to start working together? Is this something you want to do further?
That's all it is. That's the invitation. Make it simple. Make it easy so they feel comfortable about doing this thing. Now, the next step, and this is the fifth one, they might have objections. And you have to be prepared for them. One is they might not be the right people for you. Usually, there might be a money objection. But to tell you the truth, if you have a good discovery call, there's never a money objection. So I have different options. I have an un upfront fee, All right? So let's just say it's um, $2,500 for a 90-day program, a 12-week program. And they don't have the $2,500. Well, have a payment plan in place. So if this is, and this is not where I'm at, so, um, this isn't the fee I charge right now, but if you're doing twenty four ninety seven for a twelve week program, and they can't afford that, well, how about if if you do six payments over a six month period, and it's five hundred dollars a month, can you afford that? Or maybe you can put a twelve month payment plan in. Right now, to tell you the truth. Some people give guarantees. If it gets to a point where somebody I'm working with doesn't feel they're getting value from me anymore, I refund them their money. That's not what I'm in this business for. And I make good money. And you will make good money. Just understand that not all personalities work together. The person that you're coaching, sometimes they don't want to change. You have to hold them accountable. You have to ask questions that might make them uncomfortable. And there might be a time where they say, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. Now, before I give them a refund, I dig into it. I want to see what's going on in their life. But anyway, when you invite them to work with you, make it easy. Address any objections they have. Be ready to answer some questions. And then celebrate. For the both of you, set up the time for your next call and celebrate. So here we are, one pre-ritual ceremony. Get yourself ready. When you open up the discovery call, open up as a leader, lead the conversation. You're the expert. Learn how to create trust with that person. Get to know who they are and what they're looking for. The third tip is make sure this is an interview for you to see if they're the right client for you, if they fit your coaching client, if they actually want to be coached. I had one the other day, and I knew in the first 30 seconds that it wasn't going to be a good fit. Now, we still did the discovery call, and I helped this person, but I was never going to ask her to become a client of mine. It just wasn't going to work. Now, so after you're done interviewing, invite them. Easy. Hey, is this something you want to continue? Do you want to work together? Make it an easy thing. Address any objections and then celebrate. Hey, check out the links I have below. If you want to talk about anything about your coaching profession, I have a group coaching, I have one on one coaching. Grab the link, set up a call, and let's see how I can help you. Y'all take care.